This is the ESDA machine and that stands for Electrostatic Detection Apparatus. It's a box with um, a vacuum in it, I suppose, if you want to put it that way. You place the document of interest on the top, turn the fan on and it holds the piece of paper in place on the platform. You then cover it in cling film because you don't want to damage the original document. Okay. Um, then what we do is we pass an electric charge over it which changes the polarity of the dents on the paper compared to the flat parts of the paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour over gently some um, toned crystal balls and the interaction between the dents on the paper and the polarity of the balls means that the ink will stick in the indentations and then you can examine that document because you've got it on the film rather than the original piece because the whole aim of this is, is not to contaminate or damage the original evidence. The aim is to put this film over the top of the platform with as little bubbles in it as possible. Basically, um, a forensic document an, um, expert would be using one of these machines. Um, they can be used to identify handwriting, authenticate signatures. Um, some have been able to actually get footprints off of paperwork as well. Um, for example, you know, if you've got a suspicious circumstance, you've been caught, you've seen a crime, somebody's you know, unfortunately taken their own life and there's a suicide note, you can actually use it to check whether that handwriting actually matches previously written documents in the house. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's an authentication process really. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little wand and I'm going to just pass it over the platform. Basically what it does, it, it causes a charge across the paper, the indentations and the flat piece of paper will have a different negative and positive charge. This here is very, very tiny, tiny beads of basically cartridge toner, printer toner on it. So basically, we just gently pour these little beads over the paper. Do this a couple of times to try and build up a layer without infilling the, the indentation so you can actually see them. Hopefully, if I stop there. So basically this is the end result you would have with your indentations clearly seen. We can remove this film um, and attach it to another piece of paper so we again we haven't damaged the original piece of evidence. Um, it's very unlikely you would get um, uh, a court to judge solely on this one piece of evidence. The things we learn work in connection with each other. You can't just solely convict a person on one piece of evidence. So we would get the document, we would look at the ink, we would take um, a DNA sample, we would have a look at a hair sample. Um, and some of these methods, they're not just to convict, they are to actually exonerate somebody as well. We can more easily say this wasn't the person than we can say it was the person. So all these things all combine together to give you the legal evidence you require to ideally get a conviction in court.